Guess what I'm in, guys? I'm in the two lane blacktop tribute car. There's a scoop my son made. Yep, he's been working hard. There's a gas pedal he made. You guys can look this up on his shorts if you want to. He has a short video on that. You want to put in put in Adam Grover. You'll see him uh, show you how to make that gas pedal. Here she is. There he is. Out here working on her. So it's going to be a two-lane blacktop tribute car with his own spin. And she's a diamond. What do you expect for, uh, well, it's an old girl. That's some pretty good stuff. Nice radiator. Old school engine, which this is sold already. Traded. Traded. Wheel and deal. Wheel and deal. Motor and Tran, so already had the deal worked out. Uh, it's getting a new window as we speak. And evidently, this was an automatic car before. Bel Air. Yes. Yeah, it's a real Bel Air. So that means something. But uh I had a pretty bad quarter panel. And my son had already uh took care of that. He said he came out here, stood there looking at it, and said, I can't take looking at that. And uh just went ahead and put a new quarter in it and that's on his channel too so anybody wants to see some of this doctoring up can uh, look it up on his channel and uh, it's gonna be a cool build I came over to do a segment on this a while back and show you guys and it was raining and the wind was blowing folding the trees over and now this time all we have is the wind but it is a nice day but I hope you can hear what I'm saying because the wind's blowing pretty hard at times and uh it takes the my voice away sometimes huh what am I showing them oh the catch can where is it at drink your moonshine ah look at the catch can uh, we were fancy. We could probably sell these. Anybody want to buy a fancy catch can? Overflow bottle? So, uh, this is it, guys. He's getting on the way with this car. We're excited about it. And, uh, I guess you probably figured out, being as I said the engine was traded, that there's something else going in the, to the, uh, body here and uh, I think we're going to save that uh, down the road for another segment what this car is getting for a power plant so maybe you guys might want to guess what that might be and uh, you'd be surprised to know that my son really was thinking about making you Ford guys happy and uh, going with a coyote engine in this and I know you guys are cringing some are saying oh no no <laughs> but uh and that would surely be different but that would be get, getting away from what this car is about so uh needs a little bit of work now you are still putting a tilt nose right you're still putting a tilt nose on it? It's getting a tilt nose on it. Uh, probably a glass bumper on the back. Okay. 
might get a glass trunk. I don't know yet, though. Oh, okay. I'm still playing things out, then. Yeah. I've got... I'm supposed to pick up the wheels Wednesday, as long as they're finished. But it's getting chrome reverses on the back. And then, as long as these sell, I'll buy the Kregers for the front. And I just gotta get tires. Okay. So that gives you a little insight of what the car is maybe going to look like. Skinny Kregers, right? Four and a half skinny craggers for the front, and then chrome reverse on the back. Yeah, they're 15 by 11. And these are sold already. I'm hoping so. Guy said that he was going to come for them. So supposedly these may be sold. As long as he don't bag out. Well, for one that don't buy something, there's always another fellow that needs them. That's how I look at it. So supposedly a guy wants these wheels, and we'll see what happens with that. But, uh, yeah, got some, uh, cool ideas here. And, uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Staying stick. What's that? It's staying stick. It is staying a stick. <laughs> so. Yeah, as long as I have the money for stuff, it's got almost everything covered to put it, the new drive line in it. That's good. You always figure things out pretty good. As long as certain things don't sell. Luckily, my buddy has a bunch of the stuff that I need, and he said that he'll hold it for me if I want it. And so I just got to come up with the money to buy the rear. He's the one that's doing the nose. I forgot to mention that. You're changing the rear. Yeah, it's got a stock rear on it now. Yeah, it has a stock rear. Uh, are you doing the quarter panel on this side? They're gonna get radius. Oh. Yeah, but I'm gonna probably fix this before I do it. I gotta knock this down because I think it's got filler in it here. Yeah, it looks like it has filler in it. Yeah, and then I think this side has a spot that I gotta fix before I radius. Right here, I'm gonna fix this. So I'll probably cut this out and make a patch panel for it. Yeah, I'm sure that might be a little bit worse than it might be looking right there. Yeah, I just get into it. Here. Yeah, that definitely needs to be going over. Yeah, so. I'll well. Make a panel for it, well, it's definitely keep you busy. <laughs> you won't be bored working on this, I don't think. But you know what? This is one of his cars that he wanted for a long time, and like, that makes it all worthwhile. What's that? green Mustang. I want the bodywork perfect. I want the car beautiful, painted nice. This thing, primer, I don't care if you can see where I put the quarter in it. None of that like is going to bother me on this. No, that <laughs> makes it that makes it fun. That's when you're not stressed like out. Scoop, like if you look at the scoop close, like there's going to be a lot of guys when I take this to shows cuz I will go to car shows cuz it's a 55 Chevy that looks like a two-lane blacktop car similar. But when you look at it, the car's not going to be pretty. It's it's supposed to be like an error correct race car for the 70s or 60s. That's what the car is to me. It's not going to be a perfect show car where you look down it and you don't see a single flaw. It's not going to be lasered where the bodywork is like tremendously perfect. And it's also not going to be a clone because you're putting your own spend on, on right. this. Like, Mike was like, yeah, you're going to flatboard this thing to death, I bet. I said, no. <laughs> I said, I'm probably going to knock down the rough edges and, and hit it with primer from a can and call it a victory. Because <laughs> that's the point of the car. It's supposed to look ratty. It's not supposed to look... The two-lane car wasn't a pretty car. It, it was... Now I just watched a video this morning of a guy, and he showed the old-time car where they had the Fender Wells rounded and he showed how beat up they really were where they tapered it back and cut them out back in the day how they were done yeah, like mike was like yeah you're probably going to sand it and block it and make it look nice i said he goes that way you get all the streaks and stuff out i said no i said i want the streaks in it or i want i want you to see the spray paint streaks in the car that, that's the point of the car i said if you look at the two-lane blacktop car you can see the streaks in it. You can see the rust that started to run through the primer where it was coming through and things like that. Like, it, it's not supposed to be a perfect 
car. It's, it's going to be, I want it to go a certain time. I want it to be decently quick, be able to get 20 miles to the gallon down the highway, and look like a two-lane blacktop car, basically. Yeah, with two-lane blacktop, then get 20 miles to the gallon, I don't think. No, 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 no. That's a good block. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, people appreciate cars like this, and no matter if they're done prestige or doctored up, they're a piece of history and it's a 55 Chevy and I think whether you're a Ford guy a Mopar guy or a Chevy guy we yeah. appreciate this old car because they definitely have a lot of uh, oh, yeah. memories <laughs> well there's something to get happy about wing window replace the window in it, but... we called this our, our 260 air back in the day you open the wing window and you go 60 mile per hour yeah, yeah that was our 60 uh, 260 air rather you open both wing windows and go 60 mile per hour I'll think of that in a minute how that was really said my cousin Gilbert told me that one so uh, God rest his soul but anyway I'm gonna cut this off and uh, this is what you fell the room for here you want to follow the channel and follow Adam's channel and uh, here's one thing Adam that a guy mentioned this morning on his 55 he had a really good video a guy I just watched a while ago these lemons right there yeah actually I pull that off yeah that means it's a V8 car from the factory yep he, he, he just talked about that and uh Otherwise, I wouldn't have noticed that or thought about that if I didn't just watch that guy's video yeah, on YouTube. The other one inside the car, it's, I got them, but Jimmy's probably going to take those. I mean, I got all the pieces to make it nice. It's just I'm not, I don't care about it. I'm not doing it. Well, you know why you bought it for your... The you, layer emblems. You this don't stuff, need to... This is big money, this, this truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they get high dollar... For this stuff they don't make it anymore no there's only one piece missing but i mean you bought the car to make it a certain way and i think people buy cars and they change their mind oh, I've what had they a ton of people ask me what they intended to do the trim on it no I, I don't want the trim i want everything so i'm going to keep this on it because even though the two lane car didn't have this i am going to keep this on it because i actually like this uh, okay i think this makes it look clean oh it, it makes it, it separates the color. Well, that's what happens when you buy something to do things your way. You have to do it your way. You can't do what everybody else wants you to do. Just gotta get the rest of it from the back window. I miss seeing these old school engines, so I'm gonna show this a little bit because we don't see these engines much anymore. We see a lot of late model stuff, but uh, I miss this old stuff. So anyway, I'm going to call this a wrap because I just made it a point to come over here and see my son for a bit and uh, show you guys the Tulane Blacktop Tribute Car. That's what we're calling this. Well, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> my son, I think, is calling it his, one of his dream cars, but uh, this is a two-lane blacktop tribute car in my way looking at it so with that guys have a good one and uh god bless stay tuned be more coming on this